Hi friends, all for art and art for all. Okay, so today I'm doing kind of an old fashioned barber's pole that would be put outside of a barber shop where you would get a haircut. And this would be in red and white. I'm gonna start with the sphere that's at the top. So I'm just gonna draw a circle first. And then I'm going to make a rhombus around it. So I'm gonna come at an angle and then this direction, boop, I'm gonna match over here. And then this direction, boop, I'm gonna match over here. And now it's on a flat surface. And I'm gonna come straight down, straight down and straight down from each corner and make a parallel line for the stand. And then roughly centered, I'm going to come straight down. And then over here, straight down. And this is a column, so it's a cylinder shape, so I'll give it a round contour. And then it's going to be standing on a, what we call a plinth, maybe. Um, standing on a base. So I'll try and keep that same angle. So this one's going this way. I'll try and go this way. In this direction I'm going to copy over here. So whoop, 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 whoop. And then straight down, straight down, straight down from each corner. Parallel line for the base. And then I'm going to make some stripes going around my barber's pole. And I will color some of these in. And then we're going to go ahead and put some shading on it. We're going to do cross hatching, which are hatch marks are these kind of marks at an angle. Actually, technically, to be a cross hatching, I'd have to cross them and put them, put a little X there. So, this is a way of shading without drawing it 100% black. So, let's say I'm showing the dark side of this. And then I don't have a gray marker, so I'm using my, my pen to make some marks. And then this would cast a shadow that way. And then there'd be one side of the ball on top that couldn't get light. And it would have a shadow behind it too. So there is a barber's pole with some cross hatching and some shading. So hatch marks are these angular marks and I, I showed cross hatching by showing hatch marks that cross each other. Okay, all for art and art for all.